Now we start with the classes and functions. There are two types of function. One is pure functions, another one is method. For example, here in the case of pure function, define add time is a function which receives two time objects and adds hours, minutes, seconds of those two time objects and store it in the resultant object. This is called as a pure function because it does not modify any of the objects passed to it as argument. It just gets the value and adds the or computes those values and returns the results. The add time function is called in this way which passes to objects start and duration. You know start object is created which is of time class and hours, minutes, seconds are assigned in this way. For start and duration it is assigned hours, minutes, seconds and both the objects pass it to add time function after addition a result returned will be stored to done a done is a also object because add time function returns object okay returns some object thus the done is also a object and print time function prints the results that is in the form of hours minutes seconds now if we try to do it practically in the Jupiter when we try to do it practically in the Jupiter using the time class we have to do in this way at first we have to start with the creation of class, class, time, okay, and multi-line comment or single line comment you can write, which represents class, time of the day, and attributes are hours, minutes, seconds. Now, outside the class, you are going to create object of the class. That is, T1 or start start equal to time in this way you have to create the object now start dot hour equal to 20 there are different ways to assign the attributes in the first way we are assigning in this manner start dot minutes equal to 13 start dot second equal to 25 okay this way we created object and assigned value to the attributes next is duration one more object is of time type you know duration dot hour equal to 10 
duration dot minutes equal to 30 duration dot seconds equal to 25 now if you call add time function which is a pure function and if you are going to store the result into a variable you have to first store result equal to call add time function as a pure function and pass start comma duration as the parameter next call print time function to display the result now here uh, inside the class you are not given any function but you are calling the function in the case you have to define add time function outside the class with the two objects that is start and duration these two are objects now inside the function means the function need to be defined by using the df keyword and inside the function you have to create a resultant object of type time sum is of time type now sum dot hour equal to start st dot hour plus du dot hour then sum dot minutes equal to st dot minutes plus du dot minutes sum dot seconds equal to st dot seconds plus du dot seconds then return sum we are returning the object and that object will be stored in the result variable as we called print time function to display the result it has to be printed in the hours minutes second format it requires a print time function inside the class or you can make it outside the class okay we will make it as outside the class the print time function needs to be written and this print time function is a pure function now but when there is a self the parameter itself indicates which object is passing to print time function its hours minutes seconds has to be displayed in the form of percentage dot 2d indicates in two digits afterwards there is colon percentage dot 2d for minutes next to colon percentage dot 2d for seconds this way we have to define the print time function then only we can call print time function okay now if you try to run if there is no error this program will work out it is showing a small error indicates 
time object has no attribute sequence because here we have given start dot seconds we have to give start dot seconds and one more thing is when you display it is given properly seconds and somewhere mostly in uh, some uh, statement instead of sequence you have given a second therefore it's showing no attributes in a particular line you can see where it is showing no sequence is it is, it is uh, sequence in the duration in the minutes a sum dot seconds also there here also it is seconds okay because we have not created a result object of time class it was showing the error now we have to create result object of time class then only we can add we can call add time function and store the result in the result object now it is giving proper result by adding two times okay start and duration one error was there that is creating the result object okay then only you can make it as result object because you are going to call print time function by passing the result if you are not created result object it cannot access hours minutes second of result object now everything is proper it is showing the result properly this program is for addition of addition of time objects using pure functions using pure functions okay using pure functions to int function time to int function converts time to integer that is nothing but it converts time to seconds now it's taking time as the parameter which is a object and time that hour multiplies with 60 and it adds with the time dot minutes nothing but converting to minutes now the converted minutes will be multiplied with 60 and added with the time dot seconds nothing but converting to seconds thus entire time is converted to seconds and seconds will be returned which is nothing but integer value one more pure function is int to time function which converts integer to time that is seconds to time and it's taking parameter seconds now it creates a time object in the time object you know there is minutes seconds hours attributes now the seconds and minutes need to be assigned with this way time dot second is nothing but time attribute time attribute of time object sorry time dot second is nothing but second attribute of a time object will be stored with the modulus division results of seconds after dividing by 60 and quotient will be stored to minutes means divided quotient will be stored to minutes remainder will be stored to time dot seconds okay now minutes we have got it is nothing but a parameter this minutes need to be converted into hours once you divide minutes by 60 it will be converted to hour and modulus division that is 
remainder will be stored to minute that is time dot minute this minutes is different time dot minute is different don't be get confused now we have got time dot and time dot minute and time dot seconds which is converted from integer value that is from seconds which is taken as the parameter now whatever we return that is nothing but time object here okay we returning time object now to make use of this function time to int function time here we already find out sum and resulted sum of the time is stored to time 3 this we can convert to integer by using time to int function and store the result in a variable result equal to time to int and then make use of object time 3 next int to time function int to time function will be called by passing seconds into the function that is result which is nothing but converted seconds value is transferred as parameter and this result will be passed as parameter to into to time function not time to into it is uh, converted to it is passed to time into to time function into to time function is here into to time function which is uh, passing with the value of uh, seconds that is result now the seconds converted to time dot hour time dot minutes time dot seconds now therefore result has to be stored into the inside the time object okay create a time object t4 equal to time and then t4 equal to 